If you've been working through the videos, then by now you would have seen and hopefully understood the squeeze theorem for sequences. So we've done this. So uh, so now let's put it into writing. So uh, so let uh, a subscript n, b subscript n, and c subscript n be sequences. So what that means is, uh, for example, if you look at this here, this will will then generate a sequence. It will it will then generate a sequence. C one, C two. C3 and so on. It will generate uh, a, 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 a it will generate a sequence. So uh, so for your first sequence, uh, for your first sequence, put it into here. It will jump to this value here. So this value here is your first term. It, it is your first term. Uh, for for your second term, you put it into here. It will jump to here. So this value here would represent your second term. And for your third term. Put it into here, and it will jump to here. So, uh, so this value here, this value here, would represent your third term, and so on. So, this uh, this top line here represents represents this sequence. The red line here represents this sequence, and the bottom line here represents this sequence. So, uh, so what it's saying is that if if this is true, if this holds for all n beyond some index capital N. So what that means is, um, if uh, so, so capital N could be anywhere. Capital N could be here. It could be here. It could be anywhere. Let's just say capital N is here. So it's saying, uh, if if this if this is true, meaning if the red line is always trapped between the top line and the bottom line, if this holds true for all n beyond some capital N, then you can apply um, you can apply the squeeze theorem. Uh, for for example, how on. What it's saying here is that if this is true for for all for all n beyond beyond some certain capital N, so what that means is let's say capital N is here. The red line does have the right to do this. It does have the right to do this. It does have the right to go beyond C n here. It does have the right to go beyond there. It does have the right to go below A n. But but then but then but beyond capital N. Now, now we've hit capital N here, but beyond capital N, the, as long as it obeys this, beyond capital N is okay. So it does have the right to go beyond beyond uh, C here, and it does have the right to go below A N. It does, it has the right to do anything, but beyond beyond this capital N here, it must obey. It must obey this. So, so, uh, so as long as it obeys this, beyond some beyond some index capital N, then uh, then if if the limit if the limit of a n heads towards towards this capital L here, uh, heads to and then the limit of of c n here heads towards the same the same capital L here, then uh, then the red line being always trapped, then the red line being always trapped in between the two lines will have no choice but to have the same limit capital L here. That's that's what it's saying. So yeah, I hope you understand that.